Hey guys, so I'm not sure if this is just me, but I do not like speaking in front of big groups of people. Now, I can talk to a camera, no problem. You the best camera, yeah. I like cameras. I could probably talk to a camera all day, but if you put me in front of a big group of people and you expect me to say something or reenact something, it's like, ah, I'm nervous. Ah. I get all trembly, and my knees start shaking, and I start stumbling over my words. And cameras are forgiving. I can edit whatever I say, and even if I'm losing my train of thought, or I'm saying something super slowly, or it makes no sense what I'm saying, I can just cut it out. Let me try it again. Hang on. One second. Okay, I got it. You know, you can do a billion takes. And you can pick and choose what you want. Once you nail it, you're like, yeah, I got it. But when you're seeing something in front of a big group of people, it's like, oh no, everyone is watching and it has to be perfect. And if it's not perfect, then everyone's <laughs> gonna hate me. Well, it's like, oh my gosh, I only have one take. That's scary. Ah, the people are expecting you to say something amazing, meaningful, awesome, incredible, and they're all listening to you and their eyes are piercing back at you and expecting you to tell them something. Pressure. So two weeks ago at my church, we did a skit and one of the skits was about respect and I was like, oh my gosh, let's totally do a reenactment of that guy who shot his daughter's laptop. I guess that was not really a smart idea and suggestion from me because I was the one who had to reenact it. Ah, I don't like that. And it was super intimidating. I was like, please, please can someone else do this? And a lot of people's response to that was, well, you make YouTube videos, you do this kind of stuff all the time. And I was like, it's totally different. I'm talking to a camera. There are no expectations from a camera. I can practice and rehearse something a hundred times, but as soon as I'm in front of a big group, it's scary. I went to this room and I closed the door. I'm like, okay, got to get it perfect. Got to get perfect. We can do this. <sighs> okay. okay. I think I have it. I just need to, I just need to practice it. Okay. Okay, here we go. My daughter, she's been disrespecting me on the internet. You know, she's been saying that I've been making her cook and clean. You know, when I was a child, I used to do way more than that. You know, I bought her that laptop, and she's just writing all bad things about me on the internet. So you know, you know what I'm gonna do? Because I bought her this mighty fine laptop, I also bought myself this mighty fine gun. And you know, you know what I think I'll do? I think this gun and this laptop, they should be acquainted. They need to be acquainted. So, so here we here we have it. Gun, me laptop, laptop, me gun. Gun, me laptop, laptop, me gun. Okay, here we go. You guys are gonna become really good friends right about psh, 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 now. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I think I can do this. Okay, here we go. And I felt like, okay, I got this, I got this. Like, I felt like I knew the concept enough, but I actually got up a bear. This is kind of what happened. My, so, so you know on, on the internet, my, there, there's Facebook and my, uh, I was disrespecting, my, my daughter was being disrespectful on the internet. And, it's just like a bunch of eyes staring, expecting you to do something that is supposed to be amazing. And the worst part is, is that once you start messing up and you start losing your train of thought, you get more nervous and it's just a downhill spiral of nervousness. So people would say, oh my gosh, it's like being a deer in headlights, you kind of freeze. Well, it's not even that, it's like, it's like a squirrel getting run over. She's like, I want to run off and not do this because it is scary. I'm totally comfortable talking to people one-on-one -on -one or in a small group. That's totally chill. But when I'm talking to a big group of people, it's like, oh, wow, that's a lot of people and they're all staring at me. And it's not like a conversation. I mean, if you lose your train of thought in a small group or if you're talking to someone one-on-one, -on -one, you can basically just be like, oh, I'm really sorry, my brain. In front of a camera, you can just be as crazy as you want. So let me know, does it intimidate you when you are standing in front of a big group of people and everyone is staring back at you and they're expecting you to say something that's meaningful and important? Or does it intimidate you to be talking to a camera that is kind of this big scary thing? Anyways, let me know guys.